Ta -da. <laughs> oh my god! I want to cry. Oh my god! Oh, <laughs> this is so beautiful, Eric. Hi, I'm Eric Garcia. I'm an interior designer, and this is my client Julie. Hi, AD. This is Julie Sarinana. You might know me as Sincerely Jules, and welcome to my backyard. Tell me what you like and what you don't like, what you want to redo, update. So I feel like I don't like that we don't have enough seating. It's literally just this. Uh -huh. And I have a big family with a lot of nieces and nephews. We don't fit here. I wish we had other spaces around the backyard for us to live out those moments, right. but we don't, so. Creating moments, yeah, right? Like I, I feel like that's what we want to do here. Exactly. Create beautiful moments so that when everyone comes over, they're not even expecting it. Yeah. Anything else that you like definitely don't like? The landscape we has to be redone. Yeah. It was already here when we bought the house and um, it's not really like our your aesthetic, theme, yeah. adding some more of our kind of plants that we like right. would be awesome. Do something. <laughs> I trust your vision. So I'm like super excited to see what you, you're going to whip out. Your guests, like you have to train them the way that you want them to use the space mm -hmm. because they don't know, like they, this is not their house. So if you don't tell them like, hey, I want you to come sit over here, then how are they going to know exactly. to do that? Let's say you're coming out of the door, right? Like what is the first thing that we want to see here? I feel like this would be more seating because I okay. feel like when you come in, this is the only thing you focus on. It would be nice that your eye can kind of go towards the rest of the yeah. backyard because it's so big. It, in my head, I'm thinking this becomes a seating area because we have so much usable space over there. Mm -hmm. You know, the one thing that I'm looking at that maybe we need some sort of shade here. Yes. Because instead of an umbrella, some sort of uh, awning, oh, that would like be I feel like that would be cool. Vibe, what are you thinking? A mix of California cool with some like European kind of like aesthetic. The house is Spanish style, yeah. so I think we should play off of that. Okay. So that it doesn't feel so disconnected. Why don't we create moments of like beautiful California style mixed in with like you said, like a little more European. Mm -hmm. And then it just becomes like a little bit more pop of color. Jules 2.0, like yeah. elevated. Can we not do a bench, please? No. Just because I feel like benches, like uh, it's, it's always like, difficult, it, right? it sucks because every time somebody's sitting, let's look, like, let's pretend I'm sitting here, right? And mm -hmm. someone wants to get out. Yeah. Everyone always has to do this it and then annoying. get out. And for me, it's so annoying that you, everyone has to do that, that I'd rather do individual seating if you're okay with no, that. I'm totally fine. Cool. And then as we move down like what are you thinking down here although i love the grass uh -huh. i feel like go first, go first. Yeah, yeah yeah so we have a bunch of them so oh. they just like have all these holes you can play like <laughs> you should just get things. a little bit <laughs> Poor things. i know no don't do that but that would be funny <laughs> Like, see, this is such cool space here that I feel like if we put a big dining table here, and I mean like big, huge one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 12 that's feet? huge. Yeah. Like, we can totally fit that in. I'm noticing a, a I lot told of. You, I was not playing. Should I be scared that my foot's gonna get ripped out Maybe by one of the gophers? Come up and say hi to you. <laughs> We rip out the grass and then we do a little bit of like DG, like de decomposed granite, yeah. which is going to obviously solve the issue of the, the gophers coming up because they can't dig through that. And the DG will also be really easy to maintain. Let's talk about this area up here because I feel like this is a huge missed opportunity I that know. we're not taking advantage. Like, what are you seeing here? When we bought this house, uh -huh. the first thing I thought I was like, oh my God, we have to do like a fire pit oh, cool. type thing. Oh, I love that. Because I think it's so like cozy in there. <laughs> oh, look at it. She's right there. There. What is it? It's a little, they're fighting. Oh no, whatever, they're little squirrels. Obviously there's a lot of things I don't like, like the cement uh -huh. and like that railing up there. I don't right. like. So for the steps, do you want to keep them? Do you want to remove <laughs> them? Oh my God, <laughs> he fell. Jules. <laughs> oh my God, you scared you the see? I love them. I think if anything, just maybe staining them or yeah. adding some color to them. My dream scenario yeah. would be like, a seating area here okay. with like cushions. Okay. We maybe raise this up a little bit higher to about like five feet mm -hmm. so that it holds all that in place. I hate this like cement. We can totally redo yeah. this. Do some like Spanish tile Ooh. or brick, something that feels really cool. I love the grill. So you want to keep it? Yeah, I like, think I want to keep it. I think it's going to be cool. We'll have the seating area here. I love that. Right? Yeah. And then if you see up there, you see a lot of negative space. 
What if we did a beautiful old pot, up, like right in that corner, like giant pot, and then we have a bougainvillea coming out that takes over the entire wall, and it's oh a beautiful God. like pop of I color. I'm gonna look over and be like, oh my God, like, that is that? beautiful. I wanna, I wanna go, over, go there. over there. Yes. So I think talking about lighting is gonna be really important too, because see how you have all this negative space yeah. and that beautiful olive tree, that if we put some spotlights when you're sitting at the dining area, you'll look over and then it's gonna look so beautiful at night. The final thing that I think we should definitely do, remember when we went to Berber and they had those beautiful old limestone kind of trough looking yeah. um, big water feature? Why don't we do that here? And then we'll put some rosemary around it. So and pretty. then it'll just be like such a nice sound when you're sitting up there having drinks. Yeah. It'll kind of play with all of your senses, like the smell with the rosemary and sage. And then you have the sound of the water and then the food. And I feel like that'll be such a- it's so pretty. I'm excited. I'm excited. You know my sketches, they're not the best, but I feel like- you. Do not, I will get mad. <laughs> But let's work our way from the top all the way back to where we're sitting at now so we can kind of see the story develop. The mezzanine is going to be the seating area. Mm -hmm. We will create a nice little flagstone pathway that goes up to the deck. Mm -hmm. On the deck, we'll have two armchairs and then we'll have a nice love seat here dining table over here. So I think it's also important, like, you know how we say, like, people should still feel close to each other in certain areas, like nothing should feel so disconnected. Right. Why don't we put another small little seating area here with the, I'm thinking a beautiful umbrella here. That's a great idea. Right? I'm thinking we face it towards the mezzanine back area. These part people of, can talk to these people. Exactly. Because it's not that far away. Then everything starts having a nice little flow. Yeah so different from what I have now, just because no flow of anything. And that's, I think, the word we should continue to use, flow and a good experience. Yeah. This is a perfect backdrop for your- My work. Your work. Ah! Can I get a million dollars to do it though? <laughs> Whatever you need, well, I'll give it to you. I just want the backyard to be I just need a million dollars. <laughs> so I'm thinking anywhere between 50 to 60K. Okay. If you're- I was, yeah, I was thinking like 60, 70. Oh, amazing. I mean, it's not a million that I wanted, but- like how how long do you think it's going to take? We have to move quick Forward, so that yeah. you can enjoy it for summer. I know I can make it happen in like three, four weeks. So end of That's June. That's amazing. Actually, I have to leave now so I can start. Okay, bye. <laughs> I'm excited. Me too. We are at Berber selecting planters. I brought Jules down so that she can see all of it. Jules, do you love this place? It's so hard to get. You guys, I'm here checking in on the project and it's looking so good. We had a little bit of a hiccup with some of the tile that we couldn't get it on time. You guys, this crew literally pull all this together in less than a month. It's crazy. At least the squirrels aren't here. We are back. It's been about a month that we were running around trying to get everything done. And some of the major components that we changed were taking out the grass and adding DG. The deck the awning, the mezzanine, and then added a lot of beautiful landscaping to the space. We have to put all the furniture into place, style everything, make sure all the landscaping is looking good, and then just really start making the space come alive. I can't wait to show Jules the final space. I think she's gonna love it, and I think she's gonna really enjoy the space with her family. So in this area, we wanted to update the deck since the other one felt a little too modern for the space. So we added this composite deck that is super durable. We didn't go with wood. Wood rots over time and you have to maintain it. The deck was completely exposed to the sun. So we really wanted to create a lot of shade here. As you can see, I'm sweating like crazy. <laughs> we added this beautiful retractable awning that really just adds another layer of protection. We are gonna start adding some beautiful furniture to create a nice outdoor living area. Put that, let's angle it so it softens it up a little bit. Yeah, that's perfect. These two armchairs really ground the space and make the space feel cohesive. The reason I love this piece so much from CB2 is because it really has that open back. I'm not a huge fan, again, of closed backs for any furniture piece, because unless you want to create a really, really intimate moment, but because we want to be able to still connect to other areas of the backyard. Um, for example, if I was sitting in this chair here and I wanted to talk to somebody over at the dining area, because this back is very open, it still allows for the communication to travel through and it really still maintains an openness to everything. When you walk out from the kitchen door, you automatically see that there's a really nice comfy sofa and you wanna just come and lay down and just put your feet up and hang out. So we still have all this furniture here that we have to place around the space. It's kind of a mess right now, but it'll all come together. 
Pull it in a little bit more. Right, perfect. That's good. As important as aesthetics is to me, functionality has to also be there. I'm thinking of the way that Jules and Kevin are gonna use the space. It's creating little moments for her. Let's do the dining chairs. So same with dining chairs, I like keeping them spaced out. Usually people like to pack up their dining table and you find that you, when you're sitting and eating, you're bumping to each other with your elbows and you don't have enough space. So having bigger dining tables outside, I love. Even if it feels a little too big, it's still, I'd rather have the space to spread around and have a lot of food than to feel like you're closed in and you can't really even enjoy your meal. We found this beautiful base at Berber Imports. Brandon went to the slab yard and found this amazing stone top. We wanted it to feel kind of old and antique and I think it served the purpose. And these pieces from Hay bring it back to a California casual and a little bit more modern. So it throws off the design a little bit. We went with stone for the material because it's super durable. So you easily wipe it. You can even take the water hose after you're done eating, just water hose it down and then it's all clean and done. With the seating area back here on the deck, it's still close enough, like I said, where you're not yelling. Anytime you have to project your voice too much, for me, the space is too far. So for the landscaping, we really wanted to keep to the Mediterranean feel. We added a lot of rosemaries, agave, a lot of beautiful olive trees. So when you water it, you just get that beautiful smell going through the entire backyard. I love just really thinking about all the senses. Um, it really just drives that experience even further. We love designing for LA, especially because we do get a lot of sun and heat. So all of these plants, like I said, they are Mediterranean, so they're used to sun. They're used to not having a lot of water. And then the pebble added a really nice, again, Mediterranean feel to it. We added these beautiful spotlights to every tree. They have such beautiful palm trees that we wanted to highlight that at night. It creates such a good ambient lighting. I'm a huge fan of warm tone lighting, not cool tone. So anything that's under like 3000 to 4000 Kelvin, it just makes the space feel a little bit more um, sexier and it just really um, plays nice with all of the greenery going around. So the string lights that they previously had were, I, I didn't like the placement. They were, they felt a little too perfect. We introduced new smaller bulbs and then we were strategic in the way that we placed them. So every area that we kind of wanted to highlight was getting lit from above. So that really just then informs the space of like, okay, this is where I should be going and how I should be experiencing that area. Let's do up here. So this was the area that I really was excited to see transform as before it was just kind of dead and they weren't really using it for anything. So we created this beautiful built-in seating area. Yeah, let's keep that one there. Perfect. And then let's start throwing some print on this too. They had a barbecue area on this side. I kept asking them like, do you really, really use the barbecue or are you using it once a month? Whereas they're gonna use this every day. Cool. We added this travertine tile on the floor. We wanted to stay true to the Spanish modern architecture of the home. So this just kind of felt like an extension of that. Put the, can we just put this one over here? Just to soften up that wall. Yeah, I like that a lot. There was a lot of negative space and because it is black and white, we really wanted to add a pop of color and Vogambilia tends to grow giant and crazy and it really starts taking over the space, which I love. We want to be strategic of where we're placing everything. And then last but not least, let's connect this water feature. Just the sound. Again, we start talking about playing with all the senses at night. When you're hearing this sound, it's just so peaceful. It just really ties in everything together and it just gives you calmness. It's important for uh, areas not to feel flat. So we wanted to introduce things that kind of felt higher and lower and play with balance and, and scale. And then when you start scanning the room, you're like, oh, what's that? Oh, what's that? Your curiosity will hit and then you want to just go and explore. So it's all about telling a story and making that eye travel throughout. There was supposed to be a little bistro table here and then we realized like, ah, it's gonna block off the space too much and there's already a table there. So because she does have a large family, I think with the kids running around, that would have blocked up the space. That didn't make it into the cut. <laughs>
So we got a lot of great pieces from CB2, like all these beautiful cups. As soon as people are coming into the space, they know to gravitate here and grab what they're gonna need before they sit in the dining area. Especially when you're going to a new place, you feel a little intimidated. So I feel like if you lay it out for people and it's really easy for them to know like, oh, okay, well the cups are here, the water's there, I can go up and grab it myself, as opposed to waiting for somebody to do something for you. There's a saying in Spanish, like my casa is your casa. And like that literally is it for me. Like my house is your house. Grab whatever you want, experience it the way you want it. But let me create that experience and help you get there. <laughs> Are you ready, Jules? I'm yeah. like so One. nervous. Oh Sorry, my god. Ready? One, two, three. Ta -da. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> you literally transformed my whole backyard. I feel like I'm I wanna cry. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> this is so beautiful, Eric. Can we give you a hug? There's like so many moments here that I'm just like obsessed with that I just I'm literally speechless. Do you want to see the seating area? Everything. I want to see everything. And you just did exactly what we were thinking, like we were talking about how like you gravitated right to the sofa. Yeah. These pieces from CB2, I think, came out oh my so God, they're uh, right. From CB2? Like, they're I CB2. I love CB2. We <gasps> are obsessed with them. So it's all just kind of starting to tell a story as we kind of move, move around. Move on through the backyard. Yeah. yeah. I want to go so, from pre drinks exactly, to dinner. Exactly. Oh my good. My good. <laughs> I'm like that excited I can't even speak. Ta-da! <laughs> wow, this is absolutely stunning. Because it is so wide, you can put all the food in the center and everyone can just kind of sit around and start Share kind of, and exactly. everything. Exactly. And I love this little setup to like grab the plate. Exactly. Remember when we were talking about the benches, how I didn't want to do a yeah. bench because and it I'm was... I'm so glad we didn't do that. Yeah, isn't that cool now? Because then we can introduce different chairs, give it a little bit more character, yeah. like do something a little bit more unique. It just, just feels elevated. Exactly. Wow. It's natural stone, so it's just super easy to clean. Game table slash love dinner it. table slash, slash everything. Slash everything. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Oh my god, these pots are beautiful. And also the Wait, landscaping, right? These are the ones from Berber yep. that we picked out. Yep. <gasps> and oh the my. plant daddies did such an amazing job with all the landscaping that I feel like they really understood your vision. Yeah, they um, really did. It's it was so, so different, right? It was so dim here and like gloomy and, and now it's so much more brighter when we started designing it like i really kept in mind like everything in the backyard just had to have a moment yeah so that you could have multiple uses in this floor i love Ugh, the i know eco outdoor is the company that makes them they're so, so good right and then we did the herringbone, herringbone just to give it a little bit more depth and then we added these little drink tables so like let's say we're having a drink and we're sitting back here you can put your drink here and so just, cute or, but i know we were gonna maybe at some point put the barbecue here we ended up taking it out it looks bigger because i feel like if we had it i would have felt a little off with that and then this going on yeah. so now it just looks a little bit more cleaner i like taking you to a certain like point right and then after that it's like it's your home yeah i like that oh are the squirrels back oh my god oh, is no. another one falling <laughs> oh it transforms so much right i can't even tell you the difference you made and you see it on paper but then when you're standing up here and you're looking down you're like Oh, it all came to life. You're like, wow. <laughs> all the detail, the design, but then uh, about all of our senses being at play, like with the smell and the, yeah. like, hearing the water feature when you're the back rosemary. here. And, and the final I one is the visual. Tell. Like you see it all, you take it all in and it's like, wow. I'm like obsessed with our backyard now. Oh, that makes me happy. I mean, at the end of the day, like when you, you're happy with something and you love something, it'll just- It shows, it, right? it shows. Now but I now, can literally entertain everyone. <laughs> you can everyone. have a show back here. <laughs> Seriously, I can't wait to have all my friends and family over. You killed it. Oh. Like honestly, thank you so much for making my backyard dreams come true. Thank oh, you well, so much. Oh, it was much. so much fun. I love you. Mm. Close your eyes. Light in the area. Oh.